Sometimes you have to make uh, changes as a PCQI uh, on action items concerning your programs. Uh, maybe they're non-existing or lacking necessary procedures. So you're going to take it upon yourself to basically uh, make some changes. Here we go again. Hello again PCQIs and in this segment we're going to be discussing proactivity versus reactivity communication. Uh, in this scenario we have um, recommended some changes and implementation on uh, a PFL, a program policy procedures or forms for records or a lessons for our training materials. So in this segment we're going to be talking about uh, submitting these through the team and the things that we need to uh, take a look at as a pushback as well. So sometimes you have to make uh, changes as a PCQI uh, on action items concerning your programs. Uh, maybe they're non-existing or lacking necessary procedures. So you're going to take it upon yourself to basically uh, make some changes. Now very, very be mindful for the fact that you need to communicate this with the rest of the team, especially with senior management. So if they don't know your intention, you're going to get a lot of pushback, uh, you know, uh, maybe a budget call uh, if it's part of that budget or expending budget for that month or that season or that quarter and whatnot. So be prepared for that, okay? Um, and also keep in mind uh, that the other part of the team uh, needs to be part of the process so you need to get them involved uh, in every aspect of the action items now you're gonna have somebody in your team you know you're gonna feel like they don't really look at emails or communicate all of these things uh, they just basically you know get on an email and fire off some you know some justification kind of you know you always have that pushback from this particular person all the time and it becomes normal so you need to basically adjust your preparation of how you present those so the issue doesn't come up uh, as fast, right? So they can uh, basically have a voice, uh, even though you feel that they're not listening, okay? But they still are part of the team. So before creating or recreating, uh, a discussion with the team should be first. So, you know, present your ideas, then, you know, have a meeting for a clarification with the team. And then anything that you created, you know, have it reviewed with the team as well prior to approval and implementation. Now, one of the tools uh, for this is a gun chart, which is perfect for tracking these type of developmental changes or any other project management uh, software that you're using. And there's plenty of them out there. We do have one on interlinkiq.com called MyPro. And if you need to take a look at that, uh, just get with customer success team and you know and they'll show you how it is utilized okay okay um now as a pcqi be prepared to be questions, uh, you know, for your intentions, for developing, changing, and implementation. So be ready uh, to discuss regulatory or certification standard requirements because sometimes the team doesn't understand, you know, uh, that it's a regulatory and not a certification body requirement. So there are two big things for that. One is a system, right, and then the other one is the Code of Federal Regulation. So prior to uh, moving forward, have everyone informed, call for clarification discussion, document all changes and all of their justification. Then you finally execute your action items. Now, some of these requirements, it's not going to fly, right? They're, you're going to have some pushback, uh, they need more clarification, and they're going to shoot it down, okay? Now, you need to then record that record that justification 
of why that decision was made. Not to point fingers, if something happened, FDA walks in, USDA walks in, it's none of these pointy fingers, I told you so, I told you so. That's not the point of this. The point of this is, there's gonna come a time that that particular person will recognize that they made a, a mistake or maybe they need more clarification and would like to reconsider you know what your recommendation is and it's gonna come back around or maybe later on you have somebody new in the team that is calling for that particular changes but the person that shot it down is no longer with the company right so then you can then take a look at your records it says oh yeah we brought that up on the first quarter or in the second quarter or you know whatever uh, the committee meeting was uh, concerning that and these are the notes that I had on my meeting minutes uh, and this is the decision that was made for that okay so you want to document all of the justification and by who uh, and later on then you can come back you know to that particular person saying hey maybe I did not explain it or you know justified enough on the regulatory or certification standards well here's the additional guidelines that you're looking for so you can make a, a better knowledgeable or you know decisions for that anyway so any other uh, update uh, or improvement in this process kindly email me at info at consultor .com. till then have a great day and see you on the next one bye bye contact us and don't forget to share like and subscribe thanks again pcqis have a good one